So, we're going to be starting a new game that I want to intro here. And it's going to be a randomized version of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. That's right, it combines both games into one big game, and it randomizes them between both. I'm going to be streaming this live to Twitch, and then I'm going to be posting the run to YouTube um, as I go. Make a start here. So I'm going to kind of explain how it works, and kind of what the rules are in, as we're going. So first, I have a cosmetic change that changes all of the tunic colors randomized in Ocarina of Time. Um, if I... we'll go over some of my stuff in a second. If I get other tunics, um, the Fa Zora tunic and Goron tunic are randomized colors. I also have a thing set where you can wear them as a kid because fashion choices. So how this works is all of the items in the game, all of the chests, all of the upgrades, all of that is randomized. Now, you can kind of customize that. However, I have customized it so all of the dungeon keys in both games randomized. All of the shops are randomized. All of the Skulltula tokens are randomized. The only thing is that all of the fairies in Majora's Mask are in their own dungeon. They are randomized in the chest, but they're all in their own dungeon. So as you can see here, we walk into the shop, this man has the Master Sword, the Eyedrops of the Goron, uh, looks like that's a Majora's Mask heart piece. Let's see, Hylian Shield, the Hero Shield from Majora's Mask, the Megaton Hammer, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Um, so, things are randomized. And whichever game, all of them are basically set to specific spots. Now, the logic is set so that it can be beatable. I can go everywhere in the game with this logic. I also have a special setting. Uh, this won't be on by default, I just have it on here to show it off. Whenever you get the Stone of Agony, that like specific item that lets you see some specific grottos or whatnot, uh, when you get that, it actually will show you what kind of items are in the chest. So, a regular chest here is just like a piece of heart, or rupees, or something not of super value. A spider web means that it is a Skulltula token, either the regular ones, the swamp ones, the ocean ones. This one, you can't see the front, but has a little Triforce on it, means it's a main item of some sort. So this here is the magic upgrade from Majora's Mask, which means we now have magic in that game. And then this one is a small spider token. We're not going to worry about this. Uh, we'll we'll be getting into it all as we go. So all checks, aka a spot where you can get an item, are randomized here. So as soon as we walk out, where we would get the ocarina, we got ice arrows. Um, so, as we're on our way to show some things off, there's a few things on how this works. Now, obviously both games are one and the same. There's a specific spot you go in each game to swap between them. As for rules of how the game works, uh, I have it set, well, it's automatically set so that the Kokiri that is blocking the tunnel is moved, so you can go, you're not stuck forced to do the one dungeon. Uh, Mido or Mido is moved, so you can go straight to the Deku tree. They, I have it set so that the uh, guard in Kakariko Village is already opened up, that way you can go straight to Death Mountain. And finally, I have it set so that the Zora King is moved when you're an adult, because otherwise, if you go become adult Link before you give him the letter from Mudo, he will be stuck in ice in front of the path that goes back. So, it causes issues, so I have that opened up. Now, I have a few other specific things. First, Skulltulas will appear without the sub song, so certain ones are just there. Um, I have it so that I have a couple of starting items. Because your sword is randomized in, as you can see, I don't start with the sword. I have to go find it. And shops are randomized, I can't just reliably buy items. 
I start myself with 10 Deku Sticks. That means I have 10 Sword Swings until I can find a sword of some sort. Or I have to go find more Deku Sticks. So I have 10 Swings. I have 10 Bomb Chews, specifically because until you find bombs, you can't access a lot of things. This gives me a small head start to go find specific areas. Lastly, Magic Beans. I give myself the Magic Beans for Ocarina of Time, just so we can access certain items ahead of time without having to try to figure out where the Magic Beans are. That is the small few things that we give ourselves. Now, how do we go between the games, you might ask? To do that, we go straight into the Happy Mask Shop, which will then take us into Majora's Mask. And how do we go back? Same diff, we go straight through the clock tower here. Of course it's a recovery art. Uh, we go straight back through the clock tower and it'll take us back to Ocarina of Time. Now, how do we win all of this though? The way that you win is that uh, you have to kill both Ganon and Majora. Which means I have to beat both games. You can set custom modifiers, but I haven't set that. You have to have the four masks, you know, all to, to order to go fight Majora on the moon. And then you have to have all six medallions to be able to enter Ganon's castle. Now, there is one last custom setting we have here. Any of the teleport songs will let you teleport between both games. So, if I play the song of Soaring while well, in Ocarina of Time, it will let me immediately teleport to wherever in Majora's Mask. And if I play one of the teleport songs for Ocarina of Time while I'm here in Majora's Mask, it will send me to that location. I originally did not do that um, starting out. However, if you don't do that, it becomes very tedious to run all the way back to um, Block Town or to Hyrule City or the Hyrule like, Square. And then go and get whatever I like, need to do. You can only go through the door as child blink, so you have to like there's a lot of setup. So, this is what we're gonna be playing. This is what our next series is gonna be. There's a lot to it. Uh, there'll be a lot of explanation. I'm gonna post it in my Discord, I'm gonna post this to YouTube so that people can preview it. But we are going to be playing this bad boy. We're gonna stream it live to Twitch. We're going to save the live streams to YouTube. So I hope you all enjoy and look forward to this. I'm hoping... There's only like two YouTubers, I've seen maybe three, that have even posted about this combined randomizer. And I think one has done a live stream run where they beat it in like 11, 12 hours. So this will be the first like playthrough playthrough like on YouTube. Um, I'm excited. I really love... I've been playing this for like a month where I've just been doing save after save. So, I look forward to it. I hope you all look forward to it. And I guess I will see you guys as soon as we get rolling. Have a nice one.